Welcome back to another Ratface 44 Reviews. My name is James, and today we have Action Force Gemini from Valiverse. So let's get this started! So before we get this started, big shout out to E Collectibles. Link will be in the description below. So let's take a look at the packaging. Pretty uh, nice packaging, I say so myself. I always like these Action Force uh, packaging. Very uh, minimalistic and stylish at the same time. Kind of goes into this red to dark uh, Action Force logo. You got Gemini, you got the Valiverse logo, 14 plus. And on the back of the packaging, there is a, uh, you can see the, the figure here. I'm not sure if it's a digital render or not, or the actual figure, it's hard to say exploding background she looks freaking pissed off you got her file card here you can go ahead and pause the screen and read that got some cool artwork here you got the action force logo you got two action points lego mumbo jumbo on the bottom and this side of the packaging action force logos and on this side of the packaging you got a nice kind of sketch of gemini right here with the action force logo you got Series 3, number 5, Gemini. So enough blabbing about the packaging. Let's go ahead and open up the action figure and take a look. Uh, I've been holding off on opening um, Gemini here. Got sidetracked with a lot of classified figures. So I'm going to do a kind of rotation between Series 3 and Series 4. So stay tuned. Turn on your notifications. If it's your first time here, go ahead and click subscribe, hit that like button, all that good stuff would be very appreciated. So here is Gemini in the plastic prison. Let's go ahead and take out the action figure and all the accessories. So I got Gemini and all the accessories all out of the packaging. Here she is. And let's take a look at the accessories. So most action force figures all come with the same exact accessories amount, I should say. Uh, one of the very smallest uh, accessories here. Let's go ahead and zoom in a little, a little bit more. You see there is a uh, tiny little knife. Very stylish. I think we've seen this before in the line, of course. Uh, highly detailed. Got a black blade and a kind of gray handle. Very cool. So we got three magazines. And there are detail on these magazines also. Take a look at that. Next we have her sidearm done in a gray plastic with some black uh, details you guys see on the bottom of the handle. Very, very cool. Um, I can't remember the name of this weapon, but there is a port for uh, blast effects and we've seen obviously this before. So of course Valiver's figures come with a ton of hands, like holding hands, fisted hands, and two trigger fingers. And I really like these uh, the details on these hands, like the uh, kind of wraps that go around her hand and her fingers exposed. Very cool detail. And lastly here with the loose accessories, we have her machine gun done in this green plastic with some black highlights. Very cool. There is a port for blast effects and removable magazines. So you can go ahead and port that right in. Very cool. Let me know in the comment section down below what type of weapon this is. And not to forget that Gemini comes with a figure stand, just like all Valiver's figures. So let's uh, take that out of the packaging. So here is Gemini all over this packaging. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at the head sculpt. This is all what we've been waiting for. I know most of this stuff is all reissued parts. And we've seen this before within... Pandora and all the other female figures they all essentially have the same exact mold but just done in different colors this is the first time I'm seeing this vest I have um, the female vests I haven't opened them up yet we'll take a look at those very soon so let's take a look at the head sculpt that is the reason why to get this figure is because this is kind of a unique character very cool. She is kind of smirking. She has this type of haircut with these braids. 
ponytails. Very awesome sculpting on the hair. Done in black. And overall, check out the uh, vest like I was just talking about. There's some cool pouches on there. We got the Action Force logo. And on her hair, she has these ties in little green. Uh, little ties there. Very freaking cool. Um, hard to see for me is that logo right here. And you got a little uh, clip. Awesome. She has a black undershirt. And looking at her arms, she has these black kind of forearm wraps that go around her hands. You got a knife sheath on the back on her belt. You got these uh, cool green pants. You got some knee pads. An awesome holster done in gray plastic with these yellow straps that go around the leg. Very, very cool. You got great boots, shin guards like we've seen before. And you got these paint applications on the inside of the boots here on the inside of the leg. And uh, black paint application here on the, on the boots. Black soles. Very cool. So let's quickly go over the articulation of Gemini. Um, as you can see, it looks like they're... Her head can move all the way back and all the way forward. That's a lot of range. So with these uh, female figures from Valiverse, there are no shoulder uh, butterfly shoulder joints, but she can use, she can cross her arms, hopefully by just bending. But that will uh, definitely uh, hinder some articulation there. There, are, there is a diaphragm that's hidden by the removable vest um, as you can see right here you can remove the vest by just unplugging it here she has a floating belt if i didn't mention it before you got a uh, swivel at the bicep pinless double jointed elbows for trigger fingers you got up and down hinge on the wrists you got a uh, swivel at the waist you got drop down hips we got, you know, like the diaphragm, like I was saying before. You got a swivel at the thigh. You got a double jointed pinless knees, swivel at the boot, up and down at the ankles, and also rockers. So overall, very good articulation. The only thing, like I said before in other videos, wish they had a butterfly shoulder joints. It would just put this figure to the next level and another thing uh, with the difference between act these action force figures right now until series 5 that there's only one uh, ball joint at the neck uh, series 5 is gonna have another point of articulation on the neck which is really cool so let's go ahead and gear her up so let's load her up let's see how the uh, handgun fits in her hand here fits perfectly check that out and also Sidearm fits in the holster, just like that. So we have her knife that fits in the sheath on the back. Fits nice and snugly. And loading her up with her rifle, machine gun. And it fits perfectly in her hand. And it's highly advised to heat up this figure if you want to articulate it a little bit better. So final thoughts of Gemini. I think she looks awesome. Uh, nice, unique character for Series 3 of Valiverse, the female wave. So here is Pandora. As you can see, they're the same arms. Just the wraps are uh, painted differently. Same mold in the pants. Same upper torso. Different head, of course, and totally different paint job but very very cool very a very good job of use of reuse so I, I was gonna break out the rest of the female wave but uh, doing a comparison with Pandora is probably the closest thing so let's put the Gemini on her figure stand so in conclusion I really enjoy uh, Gemini definitely compliments the rest of the female wave, especially Pandora here, they look freaking amazing together. And there's one thing I would like to point out with Gemini, um, with her braids, just be a little bit careful. They are kind of just kind of looks like they're kind of glued on, but mine came off just a tad. 
but that doesn't uh, bother me at all. You can't really see it. So I hope you enjoyed my review of Gemini. Uh, if you're new here, please like, comment, and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and it's time for action! <laughs>